It means you were lucky enough not to get blown up, crushed to pieces, or anything else that would completely ruin the last five years I just spent working on you. Nobody ever tells someone like me about a mission like yours, but whatever you're supposed to find, it's big. And it's here. I've gone ahead without you. You cost more than the ship that brought us here. So I doubt I'll be able to get to where you're supposed to go. But maybe I'll find some other survivors. It'd be nice to talk to someone who isn't a machine before it's all over. Seems like a better idea than just sitting here at least. Still, if you want to say goodbye, I'll probably be the dead body just outside the door. I'm sorry about all this, pal. Last night was the first time I've even been to the command deck. It seems like everyone on this trip is some kind of a VIP. Generals, scientists, engineers, and a bunch of other people talking about how important you guys are, but who would never actually take a job watching over you. I left after a few minutes. I could tell people were uncomfortable with me being there. I know nobody trusts me. I know nobody thinks I can do anything. People have looked through me my entire life. But if you can understand this recording, maybe those people will finally know they were wrong.
captain told me nobody was upset. But it was definitely making the crew uncomfortable having to walk around the ship. Making eye contact, greeting them, doing everything else that I've taught you to do. It figures that I would go through all this trouble to bring you to life, only to have you end up with a life just like mine. The senior scientists came down last night and took out the mod. Or at least they thought they did. They wanted to know how a night watchman like me could have managed to upload a personality layer onto something as sophisticated as you. I guess complicated people have a way of overlooking the simplest things. The last one to leave gave me a look, like he knew better though. So I've decided to power you down for the rest of the trip. Once you're on your own, I hope what I've done will help you. It's only other people who make it difficult to be different. Without them around, being yourself can be a good thing. guess is we both made it at least this far. I don't know what in the world is going on here, but we definitely aren't alone. You see that thing in the distance? That signal tower? It must be where the transmission is coming from. I'm going to get as far as I can and then set up camp for the night. I don't even have the energy to walk much further. Never mind trying to fight whatever pours out of this place when the sun goes down. If I don't see you by tomorrow, I guess you're not coming.
whatever emotions I've managed to give you, a part of me wishes I could take them back. Hopefully, the things on this planet won't turn you into some kind of monster. Truthfully, I don't know what they're turning me into. But somehow, the shock is keeping me going. When I first got to this lake, that scientist, the night I shut you down, was here. He was still alive, though not by much. The only thing he asked about was you. He said all that matters is that you make it to the end of the field. And that I make it there with you. When I asked him who cares what happens to me, he said something about it wasn't enough to simply be able to make choices. That everybody still needs a reason to make the right one. When I asked him what that meant, he died. I'd wait for you. I'd go back for you. But whatever got to him might be waiting for me too. Hopefully it can't swim.
I'm definitely only leaving these now to feel like I'm not going crazy. To stop myself from thinking about how that scientist never said anything about a way home, or a safe place, or what any of us were even doing here to begin with. And if it isn't you finding these, if it's whoever crashes here next, or whoever comes back to wander around the cryptic, pointless structures they left all over this nightmare planet for no reason whatsoever, pay them no mind. I'm just a fool following a dot on the horizon. Just a dead man walking. Starship to whisk you home on autopilot isn't one of them. So why go on? And then I saw the wires. There's something here. Something intelligent. It makes me want to run away as much as it makes me want to go on. But what choice do I have? Maybe something in here can help. Maybe something can tell us the truth about why we crashed. Or at least why we came here in the first place. Maybe.
Well, if this is even real, or if my imagination is just saying goodbye. The lights, the colors, unbelievable. I remember when you came alive after I gave you the personality layer. Like everything was new in a way that it never was before. The way you opened your eyes. That's the way I felt when I stepped into the portal. No matter what, I hope you knew that I didn't forget you. Whether you really understood me or not, you were the only person I could ever talk to. I guess, at the end of the day, I'll always be searching, trying to make it through somehow. And we'll never know what comes next. But I do know one thing for sure. We're in this together.